Hello everyone, and welcome to my third part of beta testing TPC. Before I show you what I've tested, then I want to say thank you so much for commenting on the videos and letting me know what you would like to see me test on the beta. It also means a lot to me that some of you show up when I live stream on Twitch. I will be working on a new video really soon, and that's also why I need you to comment if there's anything you would like me to test. Anyway, enjoy! In Classic, there's different profession cooldowns. But in Burning Crusade, these cooldowns has actually been removed. So for example, in this case, if I craft a Mooncloth, there's no longer a cooldown. If you have a Classic Epic Mount and we move into Burning Crusade, then don't worry, you'll actually get the 150% riding skill and you'll be able to continue riding your Epic Mount. For those people that don't have an Epic Mount, then I have some good news for you. Because in Burning Crusade, getting the Epic Mount is way cheaper compared to Classic. You will also need to buy the Riding Skill, but the price for the Riding Skill and the Mount is cheaper compared to Classic. Next up is the Engineering Epic Goggles. I've been to all the trainers, and unfortunately it seems like you can't learn these in Phase 1. So that's really bad news for people who are planning to get the Epic Headpiece as an Engineer. The only goggles that I actually managed to find were these two. And the last one is really good for people who are planning to do engineering for gold farming. Because these goggles will make you able to track the gas clouds on your minimap. I've also been asked to test what the reputation look like if you're deciding to boost a character. And it seems like you're going to be friendly with all the alliance factions. You will also learn all the flight points. And this is good news if you're planning to level professions or you have to do some dungeons and gearing before Burning Crusade. Most dual crafting guides recommend people to get this design. But as you might notice, this design is a limit supply. I therefore decided to test the respawn timer to figure out if this is going to be viable in classic Burning Crusade or if I have to craft something else when I need to level up my dual crafting. I bought a total of 10 designs when I was testing this and the fastest respawn time was around 2 minutes and the slowest around 7 minutes. Next up is the Warlock and Paladin mounts. At level 30 you can go to your Warlock trainer and get the Warlock mount. And you don't have to do a quest in order to get this. I did try to test the level 61 and it seems like we still have to do the quest chain in order to get the epic mount. This is also the case with Paladin. At level 30 you can get the mount but the level 61 is a quest chain. There's been a rumor that in Burning Crusade, when you picked up a Ghost Mushroom, you got more than one. So I decided to test this, and by picking more than 20 Ghost Mushroom, I can confirm you only get one at a time. In Winter Spring, you can buy this schematic, but it won't be purchasable until Burning Crusade. This schematic is very important, and you can use these in order to craft the repair bots. I decided to test the respawn timer and bought a total of 10. And the fastest respawn timer was around 3 minutes and the slowest around 8 minutes. I've been asked to test if you can do the feign death into shadow melt in Burning Crusade. And it seems like if you do this where you actually pull the monster then it won't work. But if you pull it further away and you do this trick then it will work. Can you death skip doors that prevent you from entering really important dungeons in Burning Crusade? And right now there seems to be a way so if you're dead and you try to enter the door, you'll still be blocked. But if you log out and log back in, then for some reason you can pass the door. Some of you also wanted to see the epic gear that you can buy from badges. The badges is collected when you kill a boss in a heroic dungeon. You can do all the heroic dungeons once a day. And there's a daily quest for one of the dungeons as well. This daily quest will tell you to kill the last boss and loot a quest item. Some of these epic items will be very useful for a good amount of time and some of them even best in slot for PvP and PvE. Once you have all the gear that you need from the badges, then I recommend you to continue farming these because in the future there will be a new patch where you can buy some new gear from badges. And this new gear is also upgraded and way better than the previous one. This do mean that you could farm a lot in phase 1 and maybe in phase 2 and 3 you can instantly buy new epic items and that way you'll increase your chance of getting a raid spot in one of the new raids. 
If there's something you would like me to test for the next video, then make sure to write a comment. And also subscribe and like this video if you would like to see more TBC content in the future. As always, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.